owed to my grandfather that I entitled Broken Grandpa. Stained glass tears fall down a porcelain face, leaving trails on supple cheeks, washing away a plaster facade, revealing an obsidian core. The man sneakily crept in. He had one shot. He grabbed the goods and tiptoed silently through the dark room. He could just imagine all the money he could make selling it. Broken bones like wood, chopped and discarded, like a butterfly with broken wings, never to escape mountains of pain. My inner woman won't allow outer influences to dictate my mind state, so I'm able to state clearly in an articulate manner in which you can hear me that I will not be censored positively or negatively by you. The dilapidated wall of liquor disfigured his fragile soul. Bludgeoned was his heart, drowned in the fool's gold. This started a long time ago. It was dinner conversation between Mary Wilson, who was the language arts writing specialist for the school district of Palm Beach County, and Ellen Shulman, who's a publicist. Two of them were having dinner one night and said, wow, it'd be really great if we could have a program for our writers that are really exceptional. And really, it truly was born of a conversation of wouldn't it be great if we did this? They did it, and 10 years later, here we are. Here, because we have the luxury of having students who have applied with writing, that they're already writers. For us, it's taking what they already do naturally and just taking it to the next level. I felt absolutely ecstatic because I can spend time with people who have the same views, have the same plans as me, to help me hone in my own talents as a writer. I think it's a lot better as a mentor, especially because the first year is very scary because, you know, it's the first time you're getting published and uh, when you're in that situation, they tend to tell you, like, you're not really supposed to be a kid or a student here, you're supposed to be a writer. We teach them to have a thick skin, to be able to listen to an editor, and still not lose what it is that's important to them with regard to their writing, but understand that the editor has a job, and that job is to make it palatable for the rest of the world to read. So it's, it's more of a symbiotic relationship, like they have to learn how to work with the editor. Well, I was here 10 years ago, and when I was here, it was their first year. It was a much smaller program than it is now, but it was just as wonderful and intimate, and we had great speakers that came that I really connected with. This is our 10th year for the project. I've been involved with it for seven, and it's grown each year. The very first year, we struggled to get kids enrolled, and we started with a class of 14. Now we have over several hundred students apply each year, and then we take anywhere between 35 and 50. So Canada supports the program for a variety of reasons. One, you know, as the worldwide leader in inkjet technologies, we feel the need to give back to all different sorts of groups. This group is one that's near and dear to our heart because it is something that's uh, focused in the markets that we serve, which is book publishing. Well, the partnership is crucial between Canon and the school district for this program. We truly do work together. It really is a joint partnership in order to make sure that we provide all the real world experiences that kids need, the publishing experiences that kids need. We provide the teachers and then the kids work together to publish this book. And I think really what makes it so neat, besides of course the teachers, is when they get to see all of their work come to print. And that wouldn't be possible without Canon. This book that they create, it's a masterpiece. In fact, the students actually name it themselves. Each different book story is whatever was going into the kids' minds at the time, but they're always very unique and creative. And so they're creating these books. We're actually at Canon gonna go ahead and print the books and then have a book signing where all the authors come, it's at the beginning of the next school year, and they can have their, their friends and their relatives come to the book signing. And what's nice about it is though the books, the, the cost is nominal, they're actually published authors. They're published authors. And it means the world to them. And you know, in all reality, we hope that they take that book home and they're gonna have a signed copy of an author that's gonna be very famous, hopefully at some point, a New York Times bestselling author. No matter the limbs removed, the stakes still remain despite dying breath, his mind withering in disdain, a bed of unforgiven nails never secure in sleep. The sun once rose again, but he was never able to change. <laughs>